I don't know about you, but I love playing in tiny homes. Tiny homes just add so many good things to the gameplay, like less bills, plants grow faster, relationships gains doubled, and so many other things that it just makes it so much more fun to play in a tiny home because you get to progress faster than if you were in a really, really large home. And if you can't tell by like our 100 baby challenge, I love a good tiny home. I love a tiny home. Now with the tiny home stuff pack, you get this tiny home residential lot type with it and you choose that and there's three tiers of requirements there's a small home which is tier three with a hundred tiles tier two which is a tiny home which is 64 tiles and tier one which is a micro home today i've decided to try to build a micro home call me crazy if you want with the tiny home you get lots of perks like less bills relationship gains are doubled plants grow twice as fast happy inspired and focused buffs last twice as long skills increase at double the standard rate and everything is twice as comfortable as it normally is so these are fantastic perks of using a tiny lot especially for things like challenges where you have to have a lot of skill or you have to have relationships with people it makes it go by so much quicker and you don't get bored quite as fast. We're gonna try to build a micro home, which is 32 tiles. Let's see how this goes. I also, I kind of wanna have a loft, so we'll see how that works. I think I have an idea on how to make it work, but I might need a second floor. So I don't know if we can do that. All right, so I have a picture of one that I think is pretty cute and pretty simple. And the one I'm actually looking at is a trailer. So I kind of want to try to make it into a trailer. Now I did this, I used the trailer yesterday on stream and it did not go as planned. So let's see if we can make it work today. If you've never used these trailers before, this is how you get them to work so that they're not doing that and or make it inside. So you got to build a base and then you got to build a floor on top of it. And then using the hammer tool, you got to delete. delete the entire first floor. And then you use this foundation level Bring it down right on top just like that that is how you do that the only annoying thing that is if you want any sort of porch or anything you gotta do it when it's up up here because it'll give you problems before that all right so you bring it down now you can see the things through just bring it up like a platform and we still have two tiles to work with i might like pop those out somewhere we'll see all right there's that now for the roof it's just gonna kind of be like that and the roof's kind of like that. It's not like that how the roof is, but I think it's kind of fun. I think it's kind of fun. Let's get a door on this. So this one has like a sliding glass door, which you know, fun. All right, we're doing that for the porch. I think that's kind of fun. We're just gonna go with this simple white paneling. We're gonna add some of these cute windows. We're basically just gonna add them on the exact same spot on the same, on the other side. I don't know if this is the exact same spot. We'll, we'll go inside and figure it out. And then I'm gonna give it a metal roof a black trim. I think that looks really nice. Honestly, this is really cute. And this looks almost kind of just exactly like the picture. All right, so the railings are gonna be broken. All right, not my, I kind of like to two levels, but it's only gonna work like this. So it is what it is. I wish that blended in with the walls. All right, we'll go with that. It kind of blends in. It's fine. All right, well, that's the outside. I feel like we should get a big window to put in the back. Although we might have the kitchen there. I'm not sure. What if we make the pop out? So we can kind of make it almost like a, a trailer with like a pop out. All right, like that. Just like that. And then like put the bathroom. Yeah, bathroom. Maybe with the kitchen there. We can pop in the kitchen or something like that. I only need three lights, which is nice. Gotta find a place to put the bed before we do any sort of like, decorating. All right, so we could put a, so we have space for a full bed. We could also like pop it in there. What we could also do is we could get the Murphy bed. Now this could be a death, a death sentence, but it doesn't have to be. And that's also like a built-in couch as well. And I've really been wanting to use a Murphy bed. So I think we're gonna use this Murphy bed. That's a nice switch. I really like that. I think that's really nice. I need a little bit of the kitchen. Tiny little kitchen. Let's need a bathroom. So we should probably the bathroom like at the very end. Like that. And let's move these windows over a smidge. So this will be our bathroom. Now, you can kind of hack a tiny bathroom to make it work. And I think you can even make this work in a two-tile bathroom, but I don't want to play test that right now. But you can make a tiny bathroom like this. And then you just put a door in the center. And that's a fully functional bathroom. That'll be fully functional because you can walk through the shower just like that and it's perfect I've also decided that I'm gonna try to make this as cheap as possible So this is now a budget challenge as well. Not my best bathroom, but it's okay. Where did the light go? My light disappeared, but why is it bright in there? Is it in the wall? It must be in the wall 
No. Oh well, I think I'm gonna take this wood and put it in here as well, cause it's really nice. I think it's nice. It doesn't fantastically go with this swatch. Maybe we'll change it. You know what? I still like it. I think it's fine. We're gonna put a rug down anyway. I think we'll put the kitchen on this side and have it uh, maybe overlap the window or the, the door a little bit, cause this half isn't functional. This is the half that's functional. What we need is a countertop. Oh, it doesn't even overlap. Oh, I love that. Perfect. And we can get a mini fridge and a stove. And with the Dream Home Decorator Pack, we don't even need to use a space for a stove or an oven. We can just do that. And we have a workable, we have a workspace and an oven, and it works perfectly. We're just not gonna have the stove, and that's totally okay. You don't need to have a stove and an oven. You can just have one or the other to be fully functioning. And that's a fully functioning kitchen, and they can just use the bathroom sink because they're gonna use it anyway. You need a trash can because you have to have trash. And then I'm thinking we're gonna have a bit of a desk. I think we're gonna use this tiny living. I think we're gonna use a lot of tiny living in this bath because it is a tiny home. So it just makes sense. That's a nice one. We'll go with that. Is there a tiny living chair? Unfortunately, it doesn't come in the green of the couch, which really bothers me. We can do that with cream though. That looks lovely. And then we're gonna put the TV on the wall over here. I'm gonna use this tiny living one, obviously. Lovely. Now we need a rug. I don't know if I wanna use this tiny living one because it is relatively small because obviously tiny living, because obviously it's tiny living. But I want a like slightly bigger one and like maybe shrink it down. No, that's not the vibe. Or maybe this one from Eco Lifestyle. It doesn't really have any complimentary colors, but I think, I think the gray is nice though. It's I think it's lovely. I think we need some more color now. We could just go with this the blue that I'm obsessed with. But I feel like in tiny homes, especially ones on trailers, you see a lot of wood paneling inside. So I kind of want to go with that, like some eco lifestyle wood paneling. Oh, you know what? I'm not sure if I like that today. That looks nice with like the one blue and the rest is the paneling. I like that. I think that's very nice. It's time for some decorations because I think we have everything that's we need to be functional. I'm gonna see what all the tiny living decorations are and try to use those. <gasps> we need somewhere to eat. We need an eating spot. Okay, we can do eating. I like that, that's nice. We need a bathroom mirror. There, that fits so well right there. And what a really little console table right here. Put that on there for some ambiance. I love it. Oh, we can put the bathroom rack above the toilet for bathroom storage. I feel like we should use the tiny living toilet and I don't think I've ever used it before. Those are some nice lights. I like these lights from tiny living, but I want the slightly lower ones that they're more like visible. Oh, that goes very nicely with the colors in here. I like it. Oh, we need a dresser. We can put that here. I mean, I don't technically need a dresser because we do have a mirror, but I think this is nice. Now let's get some wall art. Oh, those are cute. Those are cute right there. What if we lower them to be like more level with the TV? Nope, that looks funny. Oh, I love that. I mean, it's functional. It's fully functional. Let's do a little bit of a train. We'll do a little train. Maybe we'll say that they like, it's 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 a movable like trailer tiny home, but they've parked it for a while. They're parking it for a while. Maybe we'll get some like potted plants that they take with them for wherever they go. Like some like potted outdoor looking plants. Oh, I like the red. Cause that matches the interior a little bit. I'm always drawn to this banana tree, but it never works with anything. Maybe we'll put that out. That's cute. Everything seems so small because it's up on platforms. Oh, we could use these these wicker basket ones. That's so cute. I need to add toilet paper. We have no toilet paper in this house. Let's actually, we need to add a, a, a uh, hand towel. We'll do green to match the outside. We can't put a rug because that's a shower. So we can't do that, but we can put a towel. Nope, we can't. Nope, doesn't fit. It's okay. It's fine. This is fine. I like it. I think it's cute. It's not my best work. But for a rectangle, I think it's some great work. And we use all 32 tiles. So now you have a fantastic tiny home with all of these perks that are only 32 tiles wide. And it actually kind of looks cute. I think it looks really cute actually. Like the bump out's a little funny, but it's kind of like a camper. They have those bump outs. So I think I like it. This house is also only 1200 simoleons. Like that's really good. 
Like you have everything you need, plus a little decor, so it doesn't look so sad and everything, while still being really under budget for a starter home. This house will be on my gallery if you wanna download it. My gallery ID is Dizzy Miss Liz with two Zs and an underscore. It's also down below if you need to look at it as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.